Hey, g'day, and welcome back to Steve's Tesla. Well, here we are in 2025, and full self-driving has still yet to be activated here in Australia. Hey, Elon, I know you subscribe to this channel. I purchased FSD in 2021, based on the expectation that FSD would be activated quite soon around that time. I'm still looking forward to the release of FSD in Australia in the near future. And the videos we can see from other parts of the world show us that full self-driving in an unsupervised manner is now activated in some parts of the world. I'm sure you're aware of the recent holiday update that was released in December of 2024. There are many new features in that update, including the support for the app for the Apple Watch. This app enables me to not only control some of the functions of my Tesla car, such as using the watch as a key to open the vehicle and remotely monitor its battery status and air conditioning, but also I'm able to monitor the status of my Tesla Powerwall 3, which I had installed in November of 2024 from the watch. I can see the current status of the battery charge, as well as my household energy consumption and solar generation activity. Battery is at 100%. Thank you, Siri. But one of the features I really like from the December 2024 holiday update is the enhanced automatic parking feature that is now provided on the Tesla Model Y. Automated parallel parking is not a new thing. In fact, we had a VW Golf back in about 2015 that could do a parallel park by itself. The Tesla software until recently could do a parallel park or a reverse park, although it tended to be a bit clumsy sometimes. The most recent software update, however, has really enhanced the automatic parking capability and just gives you a little taste of what full self-driving will be like in the future. So I thought I would demonstrate the enhanced parking feature. I'm going to try a couple of different locations. This first one is down at my local beach because it's not too busy with other traffic. And I'll put the drone up so that you can get an idea of how the automated parking works. What's particularly clever about the enhanced automatic parking is that the Tesla Vision will actually look out as you cruise around and it will identify potential parking spaces for you. You then just reach into this main screen and select the parking location you'd like. The car then takes over and completes the entire parking maneuver by itself. Let me show you. So I'm not touching any of the controls, the accelerator, the brake, the steering wheel, the car's doing all of this by itself. So now that we've demonstrated the enhanced parking feature down by the beach, let's go to Bunnings where it might just be a bit more crowded. I don't know about you, but I seem to find myself at Bunnings once or twice every week. As it turned out, today wasn't a particularly busy day, but it was still effective to demonstrate the enhanced parking feature. So the parking manoeuvre at Bunnings was as per the beach. That is, you cruise along, the car will detect the available parking spaces and you select the parking spot that you want. You then touch the screen to tell it to start the manoeuvre and hands off, the vehicle will completely park itself and come to a stop. So 
This enhanced automatic parking feature does give you a little taste of what full self-driving will be like. I've had the full self-drive software in my Tesla now for nearly three years. For the first two years in my Model 3 and then in the last nine months in my new 2023 Model Y. And I'm excitedly waiting on the delivery of this in Australia. Up until now I've been using the Enhanced Autopilot which includes features such as Adaptive Cruise Control, Traffic Aware Cruise Control, Automated Lane Keeping and Automatic Lane Changes. But what's coming with FSD unsupervised, hopefully in the very near future, will just blow our minds because this Enhanced Auto Parking feature turns into a full self-seeking park feature where the car will literally drop you off at your destination and then drive away to find a park all by itself. Here's a video clip I found on YouTube that just shows how effective that is with version 13 currently running in unsupervised mode in the USA. Hey, I'm really looking forward to the next step in the evolution of FSD availability in Australia. Hurry up Elon. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.